Alex Sport Killington continuing here from the K1 Base Lodge. I've caught up with the Killington Events Manager, Mr. Jeff Alexander. Jeff, welcome back to the show. Good to be, be back. You become quite a regular here hey, on KTV. I like it. I like it a lot. We like having you because you, sir, more than anyone, know exactly what's going to be coming down the pipeline here in March and April, even into May. Who knows June? Oh, well, let's hope to June. Yeah, but as the Events Manager, you are the guy that's responsible for putting all this great stuff together. And I know coming up uh, this very weekend here on the uh, 9th of March, we've got a big event coming that you're looking for even more participants. Definitely. We're looking at the Heli Hansen Big Mountain Battle. It's March 9th. It's mm -hmm. going to start right out here by the Roaring Brook Umbrella Bars. Basically, it's a big old scavenger hunt around the mountain. We have checkpoints all around the mountain. We have a couple set, uh, timed hikes. You have to run um, about five or six runs you have to hit. You have to ride five or six gondolas. You have to ski past a couple different checkpoints mm -hmm. and it's all timed and uh, the winner gets $2,000 worth of Heli Hansen gear. Wow! And uh, so you can go to Killington.com and check that out. The actual map of the event is on our website right now so you can actually plan your strategies right now for your, your approach. It's teams of two. Maybe even get a, a practice run in or two possibly, right? Uh, you could. You could actually yeah. practice it and uh, believe it or not we're doing $5 uh, per person from the uh, registration fee goes to Vermont Adaptive. Oh, that's great. Is, uh, is there an age requirement, uh, Jeff, for that or not? Not really, no. Okay. So, yeah. I mean, I think scavenger hunt, I think big kids like me, but yeah. uh, little kids too. Yeah. Not so little, but something. Not uh, too little, you know, we'd say like middle-aged kids, you know. Yeah, Definitely. so go online, check that out. Well, what else is coming uh, this March? Well, we're rolling into a big music March. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we're doing is uh, we have, every everybody knows about Mo. We've got Mo coming in here on the uh, 24th of March, and uh, that's going to be a great event. Uh, live playing live at bear uh that friday actually that's actually the 23rd by the way okay yeah not the 24th that's sunday uh the 22nd though we're gonna have uh bands in every base lodge so we're gonna have two bands in snowshare we're gonna have two bands in in the k1 here uh it's gonna be a lunchtime show and an afternoon uh at praise show on friday saturday boom we roll right into mo the following weekend this is the big unveil right here we just booked two big bands Friday night at the Wobbly, Pete Kilpatrick Band with John Popper from the Blues Travelers. Oh, fantastic. Okay, so that's going to be a $15 ticket. It's going to be a great event. Saturday night, we just booked Fuel, and that's going to be March 30th, Fuel at the Wobbly Barn. It's a $25 ticket. We're running a special for both concerts, 35 bucks. So that's a great deal. And then the following weekend, Bear Mountain Mogul Challenge, and wow. we've got our, our two bands, Radio Nashville and Garden State Radio, playing there too. So. so let me get this straight. We got incredible march skiing. Tons of snow, more than we can, well, we can handle it, I we, think. We Not more it. than we can handle. And we got music at practically every venue here on the mountain, right? That's what we're trying to do. Oh, man, I think spring is king here at Killington. Definitely. Coming back in a big way, man. We Party are right through spring. Good times. Where do you Definitely. find the time to get on the hill, for God's sake? Actually, I was out there today for a powder day uh, for a couple hours, uh, but then I went right back to my desk and worked. Good for you. <laughs> well, keep working because you're doing an awesome job, i got to tell you. Hey, appreciate it, man. Thank you very much. All right, it's Jeff Alexander, Killington Events Manager. For more information, killington.com. Jeff, hope to see you on the slopes, buddy. Thank you, sir. All right. Hey, welcome back to Explore Killington, everyone. Well, I've got a golden opportunity here. I've caught up with Mike Salamano, the new president and general manager of Killington Resort. Mike, thanks for taking the time out of your busy day to uh, spend a little time with us in the snow here. Yeah, thanks for having me. It's great. Well, Mike, we'd like to actually introduce you a little bit to the community for those who may not uh, know you. And uh, this is my first opportunity to meet you. So I actually want to start out with some personal questions. Okay. Where, uh, I'm curious, where did you grow up? I grew up in New Jersey, Chester, New Jersey. It's uh, north, uh, north central, mm -hmm. and uh, I was the youngest of six boys. So um, actually, didn't really grow up skiing because uh, kind of my family was, you know, you could play any sport you want uh, if it didn't cost any money. So that was kind of how I grew up, and uh -huh. um, you know, started skiing when I was in, in high school, doing some some trips and stuff. And so that's that's kind of my background. And where did you go to school? I went to college in uh, at Niagara University in upstate New York. Mm -hmm. And then after that, I uh, worked most of my kind of early working life in Boston. I worked for a company called Deloitte. It's a financial firm. So your background is, is in financing right. or finances, I should say, and uh, kind of the money end of things here, right? Right. So yeah, I worked for a finance company in Boston. Uh, then I uh, got an opportunity to come to Vermont. I started working for Dina Star, uh, Dina Star Skis, which is part of the Rosinal Group. Mm -hmm. uh, they were a manufacturer based in Burlington, Vermont. Yeah. So uh, I went up there as a CFO, 
And I was there six years. That was my, kind of my first, that's how I moved to Vermont. And um, so my wife and I moved up. We uh, had our first child up there. And then six years later, I got, um, well, after working there six years, I got recruited to come down to Killington to be the CFO. Very good. And uh, how long have you been with the company here? So I, I've been at Killington um, 12 years, mm -hmm. all as a CFO, same position. So I got here, you know, 2001, back in the day when um, ASC was kind of on the brink of really struggling. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I kind of joke that the first, I think the first thing I did when I got to Killington that year was, um, you know, I got here right around Christmas and, you know, we had a big list of invoices we owed and I had about half the money to pay those. So that was my first job here, trying to decide who to pay. So that wasn't fun. So things have improved a lot since then. Well, I think you've done, uh, done a good job, obviously. Well, let's talk a little bit about uh, Killington. I want to start out with um, a question here regarding the NPS, which is mm -hmm. the uh, Net Promoter Score. And uh, the NPS, for those who may not know, is uh, one of the metrics that's used for determining guest satisfaction when they visit resorts. Um, the score is determined by asking one simple question. And the question is, how likely are you to recommend the Killington Resort community to a friend, family member, or colleague? So for the 2011-2012 season, Killington scored just under 65% on the NPS, which ranks as about 16th out of 28 New England resorts. So my question, Mike, is how can the Killington ski area and the Killington community working together improve on this NPS? Well, we're doing a lot of things. I mean, I think it's a long-term process. It's not something we're going to solve right away. I mean, I think kind of what I say to the community and to our staff is that, you know, we have the best mountain. We have the best terrain. I think we have the best lift infrastructure. We've got a lot of things that people love Killington about. Mm -hmm. And I think back in the day, that was all that mattered. And, you know, we didn't always have to necessarily focus on service as much and over time you know I think a lot of um, businesses have caught up people's expectations are higher than ever and you know so that's something I think that you know is important to you know it's easier to retain a guest than to get a new one that's the simple simple math in every business and so you know that's just been something that we've been this year really trying to focus on and a lot of it's, it doesn't cost a lot of money it's being nice to people it's treating them right and those types of things so mm -hmm. you know this is so we met with the community been trying to you know build the bond back you know where it's you know we're all working together and and I think everybody in town knows it's you know if, if Killington's doing well they'll do well I think a lot of the businesses and everybody's really embraced it you know it's it's something that everybody can get behind and um, you know so it's not like automatically we're going to improve dramatically but it's it's a cultural change that we're working on and and I think it's really been something kind of a rallying point for the community that a lot of the businesses have said hey we want to be part more part of the of the community instead of it being us versus the town or any of that it's you know that you know we're all in it together the guests that come to Killington are spending a lot of time down the road and in lodging properties restaurants and and so it can't just be Killington focused on providing service uh, at that level but everybody else has to so so I think we've been doing pretty well first first year the uh, national average for resorts is about 71 percent on NPS right you would like to see Killington within three years try to get up to about the mid 80s. Um, is there anything specifically that, that the resort or the community can do to help achieve that goal? But what we've been doing is we've been doing a lot of surveying of our customers and you, know, you, you need to survey and then you need to you know act on things that people are asking you to do so mm -hmm. you know we have two kind of main pieces we have the the um, destination guests which is where the 65 percent net promoter score is based on but you know we've also been focusing on you know our core guests you know I think over time sometimes maybe we haven't focused enough on on the, the group that's you know really important to Killington the group that comes every weekend and those guests and so we just started surveying them as well and um, you know trying to listen to what all the different competing ideas of what we can do to improve the place uh, you know the thing is everyone's passionate about Killington there's a lot of ideas mm -hmm. you know a lot of it's so uh, we should replace this lift or that and a lot of it's just some some more basic little things that we can do so what we've been really trying to focus on is the feedback we get that are things we can change really quickly we're trying to figure out how to change them and and then kind of make the list for the strategic long-term plan based on what everyone else thinks is you know should be our priorities one final question um, when President Obama needs to move about the country he's able to hop on Air Force One do you have uh, like a snowcat one or a snowmobile one or anything that you can jump on? I don't on? have anything. I don't no? Know. 
tough. Tough. They didn't give me that yet. I might have to ask for that. Very I'll good. have to work on that, though. Maybe they can get me something. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, Mike Salamano, President, General Manager of Killington Resort. Thank you so much for your yeah, time today. Thanks. It's a I pleasure to meet it. you. It's great. All right. Stay tuned, everybody. We'll be back. Sarah, we had an awesome day up there today. Oh, great day on the hill today. And as per our plan, although we didn't get separated, but we are meeting at Mahogany Ridge here to wrap up our day. I am very excited. It sounds like there's some live music going on in there. My old buddies, Guy Burnage and Wayne Candy back from the West Coast, back here to entertain the crowd at Woo! K1, man. The old, it's the heart and soul of the band we used to call Seabird back in the day. Oh, hey. Yeah, so we're gonna get a little footage of them, hopefully. Hey, but you know what? This is only half the day for us. We gotta head down to the Lookout Bar and Grill. It's right down the street. It's on the left, the first stop you need to make, and the last stop, if you wanna hang with the locals, that's where you always go, isn't it? Exactly, Lookout, first stop on the hill. We're headed there next, stay tuned. <laughs>